state capture inquiry has heard explosive testimony about an IT company's questionable payments to senior ANC officials. Between 2015 and 2017, EOH allegedly made eight payments to former ANC spokesperson and current Deputy State Security Minister Zizi Kodwa. They totaled 375,000 rand. Now, the company also allegedly paid the now mayor of Johannesburg, Jeff Makubo, Reggie Nkabinde from the ANC Youth League, and Sia Bulela Sintwa, a former personal assistant to Jacob Zuma. The commission is hearing the details from Stephen Powell. He's the managing director of ENS Forensics. Now, EOH employed him last year to audit irregular cash flow. Powell's told Commission Chair Raymond Zondo that the suspicious payments were reported to the Hawks. Michael Apple, of course, following proceedings for us. He joins us live. Some more dodgy tenders to companies, Mike, and then surprise, surprise, payments to certain influential politicians. Yeah, the word politically exposed person is what Mr. Powell used. It's a, a forensic term, uh, PEP. So some of those names, as the intro uh, alluded to, Mr. Cordua once again comes up for receiving payments. Remember, he got from Edwin Sodi in that asbestos tender. Sia Bolela Sintwa, 291,600 rand. He was the PA to former president Jacob Zuma. Jeff Makubo, he would in uh, September 2014 receive 570,000 rand. Uh, into his consulting firm, uh, Molelwane Consulting, and it was for work not done. Those f uh, f uh, forensic auditors were able, not able to find that any work was done that would justify that 570,000 rand payment. And interestingly, Shahan, there was only 63 rand and 19 cents in his business account before that massive amount of money dropped in, which if you look at the textbook definition of a shell company, it's simply there to facilitate money flows and doesn't actually do any work. So that's an interesting observation that uh, ENS also found. Very tiny sums of money in the account before very large sums drop in. And then as we uh, mentioned in that intro, Reggie in Kabinde, ANC Youth League Treasurer, half a million rand to him from EOH. Yeah, it's a whopping figure, isn't it? But once again, we see so-called donations going to the ANC, allegedly again, emanating from dubious tenders that were awarded. Jeff Makubo loved writing emails to EOH. Tell us more. They were always very polite emails, asking um, the gentleman from EOH to help them assist democracy and uh, be able to contribute to the ANC's continued delivery of service. And you'll hear a breakdown now of Mr. Makubo's request to EOH, who had received this irregular tender, just what exactly they need the money for. And it's an extraordinary amount of money at the end. Listen in. Then refers to conference venue and accommodation, 2 million. Conference package and paraphernalia, 1.2 million. Transport and registration, 600,000. Printing, documents and shirts, 250,000. Other, 250,000. Total, 4,300,000 chair. So, Paul says they were able to pick up a pattern of what exactly? So, uh, forensic auditors, forensic specialists, they try to determine a pattern of where the money goes and potentially what it could be for if everything is above board. He seems to believe in his professional opinion. This is a textbook case of quid pro quo. Listen in. But what we've seen is almost a pattern of regular solicitation of donations coupled to the awards of these tenders. It's almost as if the tenders are being granted in exchange for mm. financial benefit to the party. Michael Apple, thanks for that.